Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at something rather large and impressive and traditional. This is the Delta IV Heavy in all of its glory. This person has gone and set up the entire thing and has it all scripted so it can do its full separation, its Miko, its Seiko and deploy its fairing and payload. So what we're going to do is have a very quick look around the outside because it should be fairly self-explanatory what this ship is and then we're going to launch it with a few reduced timers. Yes, this thing used to take about 8 minutes to fully do its thing but for the purpose of this video I have reduced the timers so we should get it a bit more quicker and concise. So over to here, this is what we get at the very bottom. Compared to my character, this thing is gigantic. We're only the size of the boosters on the bottom. And if I was to look all the way up, this thing just towers above everything. Yes, we've got our large boosters at the bottom here, which are just filled to the brim with hydrogen thrusters to help us get out of the Earth's atmosphere and of course to get our payload to wherever it needs to go. As we come up, we can see our boosters on the side there with a few hydrogen thrusters left, right, forwards and backwards to keep this thing steady. And then as we move all the way up to the very top, we've got some white just to break it up in the middle. There is our logo for the ULA. And we can see how this thing has been connected on, on the side there via merge blocks, which is how this thing is going to separate when it gets to that portion of the launch. As we move up, we then have the American flag, which is featured on all the Delta IV heavies. And then over to here, we can get a little sneaky look inside here of how it's going to remove the second stage from the final part at the top there with the fairings. And up here, we've got some hydrogen thrusters all the way around here to keep it nice and steady. We've got our fairings, which have been held on by some rotors on the side there. You can probably see the gap all the way up the middle. And then that goes all the way up to the very tippy top, which will then separate when the time comes and reveal to us our telescope in the middle here. The creator added a deep space telescope in here, but I have gone and added a chair in the middle there because we're going to be riding along with this thing to get a better view of how things go. But if you want to launch something of your own into space, you simply have to attach it all the way down to here. And then when you're ready, you just set up the time block, set up the merge block to disconnect, and then you'll be good to go. Yes, that's a very brief look at this. And I did forget to go into the F10 menu and show you what it looks like. I got a little bit ahead of myself because I do like the traditional rockets. I do love watching the Falcon 9 launches, the Starship launches and all that. But yes, coming into here and finding the Delta IV Heavy, there it is. This thing is a whopping 26,650 small blocks using none of the DLC packs and no scripts. So we'll give this a little thumbs up and I think it's time to shove my character into its seat and launch it. But you can see there all the information about the Delta IV Heavy and of course about this ship in Space Engineers, about the launch taking six to eight minutes and it's launching a telescope into space, but you can put your own payload in by removing the telescope. You would have to attach the fairings yourself, but it's no problem if you just copy and paste them and shove them on. So coming up to here and coming inside, dropping my character, and we'll get into the seat, come into third person view like so, and it's time to press number one. And you can see around the place, I have tested this out quite extensively and I am very impressed with this, but there are the boosters and there should be a fairing half somewhere over there. You might be able to make it out. Yes, pressing number one, we'll then start the ignition sequence and we'll launch up into the air and we'll get going. There we go, boosters have been enabled and we have got lift off and we will, in about 30 seconds, we'll reach what would essentially be Max Q and then followed by Miko. And then the separation of the two booster engines. But I've shortened this down, so we're going to be doing the separation quite early on, which would be quite a bad thing on the proper mission. There we go, there goes our boosters, and now we're on to our secondary engine. Or at least, I think it's a secondary engine, it might be the main engine still going, we just lost the boosters. So the secondary engine is the second stage, which should separate some point soon. So up we go, in all of its glory, nice and straight away from the icy patch down there, where our boosters will come crashing down to the ground. Unfortunately the boosters do not have a landing sequence by themselves, they're not like the Falcon 9, or any of the other ships which tend to have a parachute or some kind of booster sequence at the end. 
There goes our second stage has been separated and now we're on to the final part where we should see our fairings separate and our payload will be revealed to the space but of course we're still going to be in the planet. In fact we might be going back down to the planet. It might not be enough to actually do it but hopefully we'll get the fairings separated and the payload released before we hit the ground. So anytime now we should get that separate and go away. There we go, the fairings have separated, but of course we are still on the planet. So the fairings are starting to hug us and we are taking damage. Oh no, I should not have messed around with that. But luckily the auto damage is, <laughs> God, this is an absolute mess. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But there is our payload, there is the telescope on our final little booster. And some point soon it's going to disconnect and will promptly slam into the ground. I will just spawn in a brand new one and get us into space to show how well it does properly. But yes, a little bit of an oversight with me switching it down some of the timer blocks. And where is that fairing going? It's still got a mind of its own. In fact, I have no idea how it's getting that much speed, but it's loving every minute of it. It looks like we're not going to be able to separate in time because we're now about to hit the ground. Oh and that's a shame it is just popped on and <laughs> we did manage to separate but yes that is what happens with our payload. The solar panels from the projector blocks shoot out and then our ion thrusters turn on and start boosting it forwards. We had about three seconds of separation before slamming into the ground and coming all the way over to here we can see our boosters strapped from the side just sitting around here being all silly with the main engine right near it. And trigger that now. Hopefully that'll be the fairings half going. It might not. We might need to come over to here and trigger that one now. There we go. There goes the fairing halves. You can now see the satellite up there. We are disconnected from it. So hopefully it'll stay with us as we go into space. But that is how that works. It all separates and once you're done it'll all be good and proper. And we can just sort of scoot around here. And get a better look at what's going on. But anyway, that is kind of enough of me playing around with this. It's a fantastic little thing if you want to do the entire launch in its entirety, but it does take quite some time to do, and there'll be a lot of sitting around waiting for stuff to happen. Kind of like the proper ship when it goes. But anyway, that is it for the Delta IV Heavy. It's pretty self-explanatory with what it does when you're not being silly, and I thought some people might get some enjoyment from playing around with it. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. And I think for one final thing, we'll just go and separate this right now. Find the time block. Oh, we still got 20 seconds. In fact, we'll let it do it properly with the main stage separating from the second stage. So whenever it's ready, it should go and hopefully disconnect properly and we'll launch nothing into space. And there we go. I believe we have properly disconnected, but something has gone horribly wrong and we are now tilting ourselves all the way around. I'm not sure if it's actually able to disconnect itself. There we go, it's sort of done it, and then we can see our vacuum engine right there. Or at least I think it's like what it's called. I know the um, Falcon 9 uses an M1D vacuum engine at the back there. So I'm assuming that is kind of what it is. But yes, because we've already done the payload, it's all going to be very balked. And it will come crashing back down to the planet. But like I said, that is it for the Delta IV Heavy. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back with another one some point soon. Bye bye.